So the challenge is to make a game in 15 hours using only these icons. How we do that, I actually don't know. I have no idea, I haven't given it any thought. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start a timer. I didn't even, I need a timer. I probably need to download an add-on or something for it to have like a little timer. Give me a second, let's make a timer. How do other people do timers? Countdown timer, how to add a timer. I should've done this before I started the stream. <gasps> Are you allowed to make a not safe for work, Dan? Can I? Because <laughs> I think you could do a couple of things with curses. Um, well, considering it's for YouTube, uh, no. <laughs> now, the first thing I thought when I saw this was maybe some kind of puzzle matching game, but I kind of, I'm not that experienced in making those kind of games. And then I saw this guy here, um, this boomerang looking dude, and I thought it'd be a shooting game. And that's what we ended up making. I was talking a big game before we started. I have declared supremacy over... <laughs> uh, I, I declare supremacy over the other Gitto game dev YouTubers. But specifically, friend of the show, GWiz, recently snuck into my DMs and said, Hey, do you want to do a game jam with some other Gitto game devs? I'm declaring it right now. I'm the best. <laughs> Not really, but but in hindsight, I would say that, you know, I definitely <laughs> wouldn't consider myself the best. And, you know, that's okay. We're still learning. I was pretty happy with the boss encounter that I ended up making for this game. So that's the first time, I guess, like working on enemy, enemy behavior. I'm still like getting better at that and um, learning how to do enemy behavior in a way that can be and create dynamic encounters for the player to sort of overcome. Um, and so being able to make sort of like a quote unquote boss fight was definitely something that I was sort of really proud of being able to do, even if it is a little bit buggy and maybe a little bit too difficult. Let's get some music here in the background. Let's lock in because this game is hard. Holy shit, I'm under attack. If you get hit, you lose your combo. So I'm kind of screwed at this point. Because I need to build up a combo to um, get more weapons, get more powerful weapons. <laughs> combo three. Got to get this one killed. These guys are the hardest because they just go hard. My mouse is broken. All right, I got an upgrade. We're we're significantly more powerful now. All right, got a shield. So we got upgrades. This is all the stuff that I've sort of been working on the last couple of months. Obviously in a two D form, upgrades like things that can enhance the player's ability, all that kind of stuff that I want to sort of make a more fleshed out game with in 3D. Uh, Windows is fine, Goose. Where is the no effort death effect? Um, there is, there's definitely no, like there's no death effect. All right, we are like fully powered up and we can just kill all these dudes. The, um, the AOE guys are the most dangerous. So let's try to focus them down. Oh shit. We got shit flying all over the place. The boss is incoming too. We got a shield. Let's get rid of this guy here. Oh fuck. Alright, I delayed it. Alright, alright, alright. So basically, this guy has like a red eye, and whatever color he goes is corresponds to like the center or the outer edges. And the clue is like the two guns on either side were yellow or blue. But, like, obviously I've killed them. So now we can just kill him. We just have to shoot the eye. And we did it. And then there's no end. We did it. And and then it just says victory. There's nothing else. And that's it. That's the entire game. Probably needs tuning. But yeah, so that's what I worked on last week. Um, It was okay. We give it a B minus. It's, like, actually fun to play. Nice job. I like the enemies, bullet spawns, and the amount. Yeah, it got crazy at the end there. I still had a hard time making it... Um, it's too hard at the start. Like, the player doesn't do enough damage. Um, but if I found that if I gave the player too much of a head start, it would just be too easy because the ramp up would be too, too much, too fast. And so you'd get too powerful and it wouldn't be a challenge at all. So I guess it just, it's just hard at the start. I don't know. Okay in the middle and then hard at the end. We made it through. If I can finish it, then anyone can. Um, 